Welcome to Sefer Mitzvah's HaMishnah. This is a Sefer that contains a listing of every single mitzvah in every single Mishnah, in Shisha Sidra Mishnah. What's this about? Well, very simply, this program about teaching Targ Mitzvahs is really a foundation for Mishnayas. And the reason why is very simple. Rav Bartanura, who I think is fairly qualified to tell us what Mishnayas is all about, he claims in Pirke Avais, Perik Aleph, Mishnah Aleph, that the reason why Pirke Avais is different to all the other Masechtas in Shas is because all the other Masechtas are a perush to the mitzvahs. So based on that, Rav Bartanura, guess what? We went through the entire Mishnayas and we give you here a listing of every single mitzvah in every single Mishnah. Why? So that if you've learned this program in the first three grades, first, second and third grade, children should know all of Tag Mitzvahs using our beautiful cards and the animations and the matching cards of the posuk card to match with the picture card and match that with the code name of that mitzvah and match that with the English description, match that with the Hebrew description from the Loshan of the Rambam. There are so many materials that the children will be learning with the which mitzvah am I cards and which mitzvah am I de uh, Tariag detective that between all of that in the first three grades that's plenty of time to learn all of Tariag mitzvahs. Now, when they get to Mishnayas, ask any Rebbe who teaches Mishnah how much of your class time is spent teaching the background information of that Mishnah without which the kids cannot follow and understand what the Mishnah is talking about. Because the Mishnah was written deliberately in a very kitzolashan, very abbreviated terse language. The Rebbe will tell you a minimum of 30% of my class time has to be spent on the background information. Sometimes it can be 50 or 80 percent depending on the complication of that Mishnah. But here's the beauty of this non-artificial shortcut and that is the following. Instead of the Rebbe spending 30 to 50 percent of the class time doing the background information and teaching it, he can simply say to the fourth graders learning Mishnayas, okay children, um, in the first Mishnah we're going to learn Brachas, Perak Aleph, Mishnah Aleph. Um, look up mitzvahs number 76, uh, 258, 253, 252, 395, 394, 579, 578. It's about seven mitzvahs. Uh, do quick hazara, quick review of those mitzvahs, and then come back and we're going to learn the Mishnah together. You see, what, what this has done has switched the responsibility of teaching to learning. I'm no longer responsible for all the teaching. I'm responsible for facilitating learning on your part. So the kids are responsible now. They do quick hazara of the seven mitzvahs, which they already know, and they've learned many times over. Now they've got basically all the main points of the background for Mishnah Aleph, Perak Aleph in Brachas, which talks about Krichma, Laila. talks about Kehanim coming home to eat their truma. What's truma? You need to know. Oh, why, why are they coming home? Why can't they eat it before um, three stars come out? Say Oh, because they tummy. Why are they tummy? Oh, because they uh, touch something that makes them tummy. Now they have to go to Herav Shemesh, go to the mikvah to become taha before sundown. And um, now it gives you other examples in the Mishnah of Karbanas that are only eaten up until midnight. And before you know it, you've got seven mitzvahs that the Mishnah assumes you know. And if you don't, Rebbe's got to teach you all that, but you're going to forget it after the test. But we're spending three years learning Tarek mitzvahs so that in preparation for learning Mishnayas, you've got a listing of every single mitzvah in Shisha Sidre Mishnah. Not only that, but you can also, when you're teaching the children, you tell them, go off, do a quick review of these seven mitzvahs, come back and we'll learn the Mishnah together. What the Rebbe can also say is, um, now try to find for me in the words of the Mishnah where the, Mish where the mitzvahs are. So we did a quick review of seven mitzvahs. Show me which words in the Mishnah depict, reflect those mitzvahs. And so we've lifted it here, Kairin et Shema, mitzvah number 76. There's three mitzvahs related to that. Um, two mitzvahs of the various korbanos, chatos and asham. Amru um, Oh, two mitzvahs associated to that. So, in other words, you're getting the kids to do most of the learning instead of just teaching. This is a fabulous resource for children to get into Mishnayas, especially if they've been following the other parts of the program. 
Enjoy.